Oceans cover about 71% of the Earth's surface. India is surrounded by the Arabian Sea on the west coast, the Bay of Bengal on the east coast and the Indian Ocean in the south. We have a coastline of 7,516 kilometers. Our waters are home to dolphins, whales, sharks, turtles and millions of little fish. 15% of all Indians live in coastal areas and depend on the sea for work and food. Around us are several different marine ecosystems like lagoons, mangroves, coral reefs, seagrass beds and intertidal habitats like seashores and rocky shores. Intertidal habitats are areas where the land meets the sea. These zones experience constant fluctuations in water levels. Seashores interspersed with rocks are known as rocky shores. These shores are populated by animals such as anemones, crabs and sea stars. Seaweed, algae and oysters can often be found attached to the rocks in these regions. Sand-covered beaches or sandy shores are another intertidal habitat. Marine animals are harder to find here, with most burrowing themselves into the ground to keep safe from the waves. Nevertheless, sandy shores are home to many species of crabs and clams. Coastal lagoons comprise shallow coastal water bodies separated from the ocean by a barrier and are usually found parallel to the shore. A number of lagoons are present on the east and west coasts of India, including Chilika in Urissa, Pulikat on the border of Andhra Pradesh and Tamil Nadu, and Ashtamudi and Vembanad in Kerala. Coastal lagoons are very valuable for fisheries and aquaculture. Mangrove forests are transitional regions that form a protective belt between land and sea and act as flood control systems. In India, these can be found in the deltas of rivers such as the Ganga, the Mahanadi, the Godavari, the Krishna and the Kaveri, as well as on the Andaman and Nicobar Islands. The Sundarbans are the largest contiguous mangrove forests in the world and are home to fiddler crabs, mudskippers, saltwater crocodiles and sea snakes. The soil in these habitats contains less oxygen, so some of the plants that live here have adapted to these conditions and have small stick-like breathing roots called pneumatophores. Coral reefs are one of the most beautiful and colourful marine ecosystems. Corals are found in tropical shallow waters of the ocean. Although often mistaken for a rock or a plant, a coral is actually composed of tiny fragile animals called coral polyps, a cousin of the anemone and the jellyfish. Coral reefs are home to animals like turtles, sea snails, giant clams and several species of colourful fish. In India, coral reefs are found in the Park Bay, Gulf of Manar, Gulf of Kutch along the central west coast of India, Lakshadweep atolls and the Andaman and Nicobar Islands. Seagrass meadows serve as feeding, breeding and nursery grounds for many vertebrates and invertebrates of commercial and ecological importance. They act as nurseries for several species of fish and invertebrates that move to coral reefs and other ecosystems as they mature. They are also important feeding grounds for herbivorous grazers like green turtles and dugongs. Marine habitats face multiple threats from climate change, plastic pollution, illegal trade, unsustainable fishing and coastal development. So what can you do to protect marine life? When near marine habitats, do not disturb the animals. This includes collecting shells, breaking corals or picking up live animals. Do not litter the beach. Be aware of the marine habitats around you. Read books and learn as much as you can about these fascinating creatures. We have one earth and one home. Let's treat it right.